one of the most most important parts of the video that is the main components of the reciprocating pump so the one of the most important component i will not say this is not the part of the like reciprocating pump that is the reservoir or simply tank you can say from where your reciprocating pump will take the suction right second is strainer now you will say that if you are working in an industry you will say sir the strainer is not used in the reciprocating pump no it is used as well in the reciprocating pump as well in the suction side as well as in the discharge side i have seen in the liquid ammonia line but mainly strainer is used at the suction side of the centrifugal pump but why it is used in the like uh, reciprocating pump it depends on the like your requirement or your liquid right your like uh, which type of fluid you are handling mainly strainer is used to protect the internal parts of the pump okay so it could simply damage the internal parts of the pump that's why we use the strainer okay now what is the third third is the suction and discharge pipe this is your suction pipe from where the liquid will be sucked or pump you can say and this is your discharge side from where the high pressure fluid will go to the destination or at the proper place <coughs> then suction wall right this suction wall will be type of the nrv okay now <coughs> now there can be a like swing type nrv disc type nrv flapper type nrv lift type nrv it depends on the your like where is your reciprocating pump and which type of fluid you are handling which is the pressure there okay depends on that but it will be nrv okay why this will be nrv the reason is that when you will when the vacuum will create here so simply there will be the high pressure and there will be low pressure so what will happen that this nrv will open and when the pressure will increase so simply this flapper will be closed as this flapper will be closed so the liquid high pressure liquid cannot go towards the suction side otherwise like your nrv will pass are you getting my points so that's why there is the like at the suction side as well as at the discharge side there is the nrv used then there is the cylinder cylinder means this system where you, you trap the liquid or chamber you can say simply then piston and plunger okay piston plunger you can say and the piston plunger and piston rod now what is that this is one of the most important components in the reciprocating pump okay so the reason is that in the centrifugal pump okay in the centrifugal pump impeller is the heart in the centrifugal pump impeller is the heart okay same i would i like i would like to tell you that in the reciprocating pump piston or plunger is the heart of the reciprocating pump are you getting my point okay so that's why this is the very very important okay so piston is directly connected to a rod that is the piston rod okay this piston will be connected directly to the your piston rod okay and this piston rod is again it will be connected to the connecting rod and then this piston makes the reciprocating action which we have already discussed like backward or forward that will create the pressure inside this cylinder are you getting my point if you haven't study about the centrifugal pump so simply you can check it out our centrifugal pump playlist okay there are so many videos about the centrifugal pump and you will get to know about the some useful information about the centrifugal pump now there is the another components are piston rings packing that is mainly used like to prevent the your your pump internal you can say and it it also prevent our pump from the leaking right then crank and connecting rod that is this one which is connected to the your piston or piston rod you can say and then it is connected to the prime mover delivery valve we have already discussed about it okay and in the last that is also very very important that is the dampener okay why dampener used mainly dampener can be used at the suction side it could be used at the suction side and it could be used at the delivery side so as we like i was discussing with you that the dampener okay before dampener there is the pulsation in the reciprocating pump okay because the flu like the flow is not continuous 
are you getting my point the flow is not continuous because at one time your suction wall will be closed and at the another at, and at that time your delivery wall will be open and when your delivery wall will be closed then at that time your suction wall will be open so what happens that there is the pulses, pulsation creates so to prevent our system from that pulsation or the downstream from that pulsation the dampener is reduced dampener is used so what the what the dampeners work dampener simply reduce the pulsation okay there will be like you will see in our industry this type of the dampener mainly you will use and there will be like at the upper side there will be steam jacketing you can say okay so what will happen that as the volume will be reduced okay so what will happen that it will go like the liquid will goes from here and it will reduce the pulsation 